In the last few lessons, we've spent time to go over things on the back end. Now, I want us to flip things over and start working on the front end with some combination of back end. In order to adequately do stuff on the front end, there are times when we have to come to the back end here to make some changes. So this is what the front end looks like, and it's still just the basic information that came with the installation. So now what we're going to do now is I want to connect the course that we created um, to this home page so that you start to get to feel for what it looks like so you go to menus to the main menu and we want to select the home or whatever menu that you want to connect and then you have to go to uh, menu item type and then choose the guru now when you come here there's a list of different options that you have and we are going to you know take a look at these later so what you want to do now is you have the option of how you want to present your course to show up on the front end. Well, you have this here, the category list layout, you have the course layout, and you have the courses category layout. This is going to allow people to be able to see the courses on the front end for non-registered users. So let's take a look first at the category list layout. And let's refresh this home page. Okay, so when you come here, this is the category Joomla School, and it has one course in it. So let's click on it, and then right here shows you the course that is in this particular category. So let's go back here on the home page quickly. Now, if you had multiple categories, then it's going to show, you know, multiple categories here. Right now, it's just this one. So that's why it's showing just that one category. That's and then once you click on the Joomla School, it's going to show you an outline. Remember the header image that I uploaded? This is what it looks like. And then it's going to show you, a, you know, the outline of the courses of this particular course. And if you look right where it says level, it shows you the level. This is level one for beginners. And then you have the intermediate and then you have to advance. So that's very important when people are looking at the course because once they see three bars here, automatically they know that means that, you know, it's, it's not a, a beginner's course or this particular content and you have the um, option two to select uh, the level for each course and then these are the buttons here description the price the teacher the re requirements all of this was set these on the back end let's go back here to the the settings go to the layout in the earlier video, we went through this and you had the option of enabling or disabling these here. So when you come here, this is for the list category layout. And then you have the course, the course page. Now, when you come to the course page, you have the option of, of hiding a teacher's name, the, the release date, the level, the price. So let's, let's, uh, disable, let's hide, let's say, for example, the release date right now showing the release date right up right up here where it says released so let's release it let's hide it and then this here is for the tabs and then you can choose to hide let's say we want to hide the requirement okay let's save so now the release date is no longer there and the description is here but you can see here we're just you know just that click you've been able to to hide it so now when someone comes here and they want to take this course, once they click on this, they're going to get this message. Remember, I showed you in our little video too how you can edit what this says here. This is the subscription message here that they, they're going to see. So on the back end is the promotion box. The promotion box here, this is what you're seeing here. So you can always come and edit this to whatever you wanted to, to say. And then of course they can click continue uh, to be able to, to purchase that course. And they can also just click buy now, which is going to bring them here to their cart. And then they can choose to plan here. So you can offer different courses with different types of plans. So this one is, is, is just the price for it. And the payment method is PayPal. So once they click on checkout, then it brings them here. They'll first, you know, have to register in order for them to check out. So if they're already members of your site, then they can just log in. But if they're not a member, then they have to register here as a student. And this is the registration. When you go on the, the back end in here, this is the registration. If you want them to be able to, you know, agree to terms and condition, 
then you would have to put the terms and conditions uh, information here. So this is what they're going to see. They put their profile, they put their login as very basic. And then once they put that, they just create an account. And we're going to take a look at account creation later on once we get to the membership part of this course. So now you have everything that uh, they need in order for them to, to get started. So let's go back here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to duplicate uh, different categories and the courses so that you get an idea when you offer different uh, categories. So I went ahead and I created four additional courses. I just, you know, just copy them over and then just assign them to their respective category. I created, you know, other categories here. So let's take a look on the front end and see what it looks like. So right now there are four different courses or four different categories that users can come in and choose, you know, what they want to learn about. So let's say for entrepreneurs, they can click on that and it gives them here and then they can be able to scroll through and notice this doesn't have a certificate for it, but I believe that the other ones. So when we go to film techniques or film lovers, and then this one here, the certificate for this one that I set is that they must pass quiz an average of 70% if they want to get a certificate for this. So the way that you do that to set uh, the certificate requirements for this, so you go to that particular course, let's edit this, and then you have to come here at the bottom where you see uh, the final exam and then below that you have the certificate term. So this is where you get to set the terms for, you know, how you want them to obtain this particular certificate. So you can choose from pass the final exam, uh, finish all lessons, whatever you choose here, that is going to show up on the front end so that they understand it in order for them to get the certificate that they have to pass the quizzes and the final exam with an average of at least 70%. So, so far, so good. Everything, you know, is taking shape.